What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Exxon 32K Car Talk. It's been a long time. Um, a lot of things have happened. But, uh, you know, I'm driving to my RSX today and I wanted to give you guys like a review of my competition clutch stage 1.5 with an 8 pound lightning flywheel that I got off of K-Series parts. I've had a chance to log about a thousand miles on this new clutch and I've kind of babied it you know because uh, it was still breaking in but I mean first and foremost this clutch is amazing um, it's the best bang for your buck I think of a lot of the clutches on K-Series parts especially if your car has just minor bolt-ons like mine you know I just have intake exhaust um, and upgraded brakes and suspension on this car so I mean it does the job really really well um, it's a little bit stiffer than OEM and there's a little bit of chatter you know like so when you start the car and when you're driving it or when you're kind of just um, getting on the gas a little bit kind of revving it you you'll hear a little bit of uh, yeah, you, you'll hear the flywheel make a little bit of noise, like a little kind of, not necessarily vibration, but kind of like, um, like a little rattling, but it's very vague. You can barely hear it unless you kind of like, kind of pay attention to that or you gotta keep your ears out for it. But all in all, I strongly recommend this clutch. Um, I'll put a link in the bio right up here and uh, you guys can take a look at it. Um, but yeah, I love this clutch. It's really, really, really solid. It grabs really hard, especially, I mean, I've never had a, a lightened flywheel on any of my cars. This is the first time. And I did a couple, you know, did a little bit of uh, research on it. Um, oh, there's a guy selling oranges walking up to my car. Uh, you guys can't see it, but he's on this side. Yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the lightning pound flywheel, it, 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 I mean, it gives the car more power in my opinion. I feel like the car pulls a lot harder and you can put a lot more power down to the wheels. Um, I've, like, when your clutch starts slipping, you'll definitely know. And so this was like a, a, a night and day difference. Um, I didn't drive it too hard in the beginning for the first five, six hundred miles to let the clutch settle in. But after that, oh man, it, it really really pulls and it grabs hard um, so yeah if any of you guys out there are considering getting a new clutch definitely consider this one um, I did look at the stage 2 clutch um, like the higher stages but those are more for like heavy duty like if your car is like turboed or supercharged or if you're running like nitrous or whatever but I'm not really hardcore into that or anything I just want to keep the car still reliable but at the same time you know have a little bit of fun and, and be able to bring more potential out of the car so this clutch definitely did the job and I'm happy that I got it. I've read some mixed reviews on Club RSX where people are saying the clutch failed on them or they didn't really like it. Um, so I mean, I, I've never had any issues. It was, it's, it's been about two and a half months already and I've never had one single problem with it. Um, I had it installed by my friend and mechanic. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link below. It's uh, Chillworks. And he did the whole job for only about $375. That's including the clutch install, dropping the transmission, and installing both the clutch and lightened flywheel. And um, I upgraded to uh, steel clutch brake line, or steel clutch lines. Um, so the clutch feel is a little bit more firm. Um, I did get my clutch readjusted after 500 miles. Um, I readjusted the clutch positioning so that it is a little bit higher before it was like lower so I'm not really a fan of like the the I guess the engagement point so I kind of adjusted it to how I like it but you guys can you know adjust that however you like it um, but yeah I mean take a look at the background it's such a nice day in Los Angeles today I'm getting on the 110 right now uh, gonna go catch a movie gonna go watch Zootopia I heard a lot of good reviews about that movie but traffic's not too bad today so you know it's Sunday yeah I'm really happy with the car um, you know oh so I decided to keep the RSX after all um, the people that I was talking to the potential buyers and I was not getting what I was asking for and I figured I'm probably gonna be losing money anyway and I put a lot of time and effort into the car so I think I'm gonna end up keeping the car and just taking care of it you know I think that's a good call um, 
yeah so I mean I love I, I just I, I the more I drive this car the more I attach I get to it and I'm gonna be going to that there's a there's a SoCal DC5 meet coming up um, I'll try to put a description of that on my website as well it's uh, gonna be like a short cruise from I think 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. in April next month so if you guys are out there you know come out and say hi and you know we'll, we'll, we'll talk about anything RSX related and yeah, if you guys have any questions about the clutch um, or anything like that definitely feel free to let me know um, you can't really hear the chatter right now you, you can only hear that when you're like at a light or if you're just like basically starting up the car and letting it sit but um, yeah I, I, I just miss this car I mean I'm thinking about getting um, some new tires for it I'm probably gonna go with the same tires I got from my s2000 the Hankook RS3 tires and I'm probably gonna get an alignment done at um, at uh, the same shop that did my S2000, uh, Darren over at uh, shoot, what's the shop called? I can't remember. It's at the top of my head. I'll put a link in the description. But um, uh, I'm drawing a blank here. <laughs> it, they're very famous. They're very, 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 very reputable here in SoCal. They do a lot of S2000s. You basically sit in the car, and when they do a core balance, they balance you. In, they include the driver in the car and they I'm probably gonna get them to do a quarter balance as well in the RSX so it's gonna be a little a different car yeah but check out their link um, in my bio below in the, my YouTube description and check out their Yelp page um, so if you guys need anything just let me know uh, they're very very good very good at what they do um, so uh, I'm trying to think of what that shop's called it's like one of those things where it's like the top of my head and I seriously can't pull it out <laughs> it's like the tip of my tongue it's like right there um, but yeah uh, all in all I hope you guys like this video I'll try to make more I'll try to do some more uh, more videos I've, I've been half lazy and half busy at work lately so I haven't had much time but it's good to be back um, I noticed that out of all three of my cars RSX is the one that gets the most views and people are, are, are more inclined to engaged to watching these videos so I'll try to include the RSX more but I hope you guys are doing well have fun you know life is short so if you guys have a passion go for it I'll talk to you guys soon okay peace see you later